BCMA is sort of the it target of 2020, if you will. And uh, I think our meetings have been sort of uh, filled to the brim with different ways to target BCMA. So Belomaf is an antibody drug conjugate and there are others that are in development as well. But the two other areas that I think we've seen more data than anything else is the bispecifics of the bites. And um, uh, AMG 420 sort of led the way in that early on, uh, but has now given way to longer half-life bites um, that are targeting BCMA. Uh, there are also bispecifics that have been reported by a number of different companies, which at the higher doses seem to have response rates of anywhere from 60 to 90%. And I think that is really exciting, uh, especially considering in a refractory myeloma patient population, we've been worried about T-cell health as being a limiting factor for the efficacy of these bispecifics, and that does not appear to be the case in small phase one studies. The other area that I think uh, we've been a little bit behind our colleagues in lymphoma and ALL is CAR T cells. Uh, and CAR T cells have a very high overall response rate um, and a high MRD negativity rate and a long duration of response as well as PFS. And the furthest along there is probably BB2121 uh, or IDA cell. And we're hoping that IDA cell will be approved in the next six months uh, based on the KARMA study. Uh, but they're right behind it are other products that seem to have similar efficacy uh, and whether the PFS is actually longer, that's really the, how we're going to need to determine which of these CAR T-cell products are really optimal. One of the differences between myeloma CARs and CD19 CARs really has to do not just with efficacy, but with toxicity. We see much less grade 3, grade 4 CRS with myeloma CARs, and we see much less uh, grade 3, grade 4 neurotox which are all good things uh, because those can be really challenging to deal with, but that differentiates CD19 from BCMA as a target. 